Hello there guys and in this Linux tutorial we are going to talk about interactive versus non-interactive and login versus non-login shells. Okay so basically we are going to talk about two properties or classifications of a shell. The first is whether a shell is interactive or non-interactive. Let me write this all down. So the first is whether a shell is interactive, so interactive, and we will abbreviate this as I, or it is non-interactive, R-I-C-T-I-V-E, and we'll abbreviate this as N-I. And this, let me just rewrite this, this is N I. Uh, third, we can have a login shell. Okay. So we will abbreviate this as L and we will have the non login shell. We'll abbreviate this as NL. Okay. So uh, before we begin, let's remind ourselves of what a shell is. A shell is a program that runs commands. Uh, you are using bash shell, or maybe you're not using bash shell, but it, it is highly probable that you are using the bash shell because it is by far the most frequent kind of shell. Uh, you can have multiple interfaces of shell running on your computer. And in order to have multiple instances of the shell running on your computer, you can just open up two or more terminals. Okay, and each one of those terminals is a separate shell. So let's explain what these terms mean. Interactive shells expect the user to be able to interact with the shell. Okay, for example, the user has to enter some input to the shell via keyboard. Non-interactive shells assume that shell is probably run from an automated process and it can't expect interactivity, nor can it expect that anyone will see its output. Its output will most likely be written to a file. Okay, then we are going to explain the difference between login and non-login shells. Okay, so interactive shells, just to quickly repeat, interactive shells uh, expect you to interact with them. So for example, via the keyboard or whatever else, and non-interactive shells expect you to interact, uh, to not interact with them. Okay, so basically if you ran something and you forget about it, and it doesn't even expect for you to look at its output. Okay, so interactive shells, interaction via keyboard, and non-interactive non shells are the shells you don't interact with. Now, login shells exist to do some things only once. Okay, so login shells, and I'm trying to, yeah, here's my cursor. Login shells exist to do some things only once. Okay, and how do they do these things? How do they do these things to be done only once? How do they do them? They do them by reading certain files. Now, non-login shells are all the shells that don't read the certain files that login shells do read, okay? So login shells, they read certain files only once, and that's it, while the non-login shells don't read those files, okay? And basically, since those are the two sort of classifications, we can actually have four kinds of shells in total, okay? So if I represent the four kinds of shells as some sort of, uh, uh, if this is some sort of axis, we can have non-interactive, non-login shells. Then we can have non-interactive login shells. Then we can have interactive, non-login shells, and we can have interactive login shells, okay? So basically, these are the four kinds of shells. And honestly, this shouldn't concern you that much, okay? This shouldn't really concern you at all. I just gave you kind of the quick overview of what all of these four terms stand for because you may encounter them sometime and it's important to understand in that moment uh, what do they mean because it's not really something you can grasp quite so easily by Googling around, okay? 
So basically, just sort of keep that in the back of your head, but you will most likely not use it quite frequently. However, I do want you to understand that your terminal is an interactive non-login shell. So your terminal is actually this thing, right? So this is your terminal. So your terminal is, uh, and I repeat again, an interactive non-login shell, okay? So basically, this is it. Uh, and again, this is not really something that's gonna be of that huge relevance, uh, unless you're like concerned about it in some theoretical way, it's not really going to be super useful. However, it is important to understand, okay, there exist these types of shells and just keep it in the back of your head. Maybe you need it sometime, okay? So, and ob obviously it is important to understand that your terminal is an interactive non-login shell. That, that is important to remember in my opinion, because uh, if you are ever dealing with some of these things, you have to understand in what, what which type of shell you are working in, okay? So terminal is an interactive non-login shell, okay? So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something useful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Talk soon.